Sanders takes a closer look at how it's impacting Tennesseans. That's next. Storm 5 Titan puts the power of five meteorologists on wheels. Sponsored by Premier Generators. Well, there was a time this past year when heat and drought conditions threatened key crops, but that's not how it turned out for one vegetable. What happened is actually historic. Mm -hmm. News Channel 5's 4 Sanders reports. What we're doing is what we call inline ripping or no-till ripping. We plant several thousand acres of corn. Katisa Farms in Riddleton has deep, deep roots for George McDonald. My great-grandfather started farming here in 1927. Today we farm in six counties. We grow corn, soybeans, wheat, strawberries, and watermelons. And with nearly 100 years of Georgia's family working this land, they have just witnessed a truly historic season. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has just announced 2023 saw their biggest corn harvest ever. You may remember back during the state fair, the theme was year of corn. George, as chairman of the Tennessee Corn Promotional Board, was one of the people pushing for that theme, knowing how the corn harvest was turning out. So how much corn are we talking about nationally? Well, let's take a statistical look using some of these toasted salted corn things that I just got from Kroger. The numbers show the U.S. crop for 2023 comes out to 15.234 billion bushels. Now, according to the USDA, those numbers come ahead of the previous peak set in 2016. So why are the numbers so big this year? George explains some of it has to do with world events. Ukraine is second largest exporter of corn in the world. When Russia invaded into Ukraine, it had a huge impact on the prices of commodities. Everybody got nervous. U.S. wound up with a great crop because farmers did plant more corn, but the yields were just great this year. And so work continues in preparation for the spring's corn crop, all here on that land with deep, deep roots. I live a blessed life. I get to get up every day and do something to make a living that I enjoy doing. And for Sanders, News Channel 5. We couldn't do it without our farmers. That's Hard sure. work. Yes, it is. George also tells us U.S. farmers are not exporting as much this year, which means.